the old peanut butter jar. Now about 15, 17 years ago, somewhere around in there, I took a smaller peanut butter jar, remember it was a little small one, yeah, well, this is a little bit bigger, but a smaller peanut butter jar, and I sent my kids to school with these, they were looking for a school project to do. And I said, well, take the peanut butter jar into school. And actually, I gave them quite a few of them, but they take the peanut butter jar into school. And at the school, the teacher really liked the idea. And what they did is they made mini survival kits in the wilderness and in town. So even just for one for there at school, what could they keep in the schoolroom in a little peanut butter jar that would help them out? And they had band-aids and, you know, little things of uh, neosporin stuff and stuff like that they put in there. And it's just an all-around good idea. And the kids came up with stuff, you know, basically anything you can put in your survival kit, you know, put in one of these. Plus, it's plastic, and you can use it to carry water, and, you know, there's many different ideas you can do. The peanut butter jar, though, I mean, we all use them for storing things and doing other stuff. But if you have somebody new into survival, somebody, you know, maybe you're introducing one of your children into bushcrafting and or survival, and you're getting a little survival kit ready, Maybe you could give them a small peanut butter jar and talk over with them and say, what could you put in that? What do we? Let's go get some cotton balls and let's go get you know a small thing of fish hooks and put them on a piece of paper and tape them over and put them in there. And if you want to have fun and just have the kids go out and do it, <clears throat> and you don't want to like... See, at the school they couldn't have a knife. So what they did was, the teacher came up with a great idea. They took a piece of cardboard... They drew a knife on the cardboard and they cut it out. And they, she made it was like a thick box cardboard, so it was like the same as um, remember the old razor knives where you push the bottom and just a straight blade came up and they were metal. They were about that wide, about that long. Well, they just made a cardboard one and put it in there, you know, to represent the knife that they couldn't have in the school. Things like that. So use your imagination with your children, or use your imagination if you're just getting started and you don't have something. You know, if you don't have the fish hooks, draw some fish hooks. You know. Put them in a piece of paper and put them in there. They don't take up much more room than a piece of paper. I mean, fish hooks, small fish hooks, don't take up a whole lot of room. Things like that you could put in there and, you know, make up the space for. But it's just to get your creative juices flowing. You know, what could you do? What, how much stuff could you put in a, in, a, in a peanut butter jar? Now, of course, you can expand this. You know, you can, you can go to the small, I have a small, it's in the other room, but I have a small uh, neck survival kit that I got from uh, Ron Hood and Hood's Woods and you know that goes on there when I go out I usually wear that out. The uh, You can go from the small Ziploc bag to the survival tin like Lofty Wiseman has and, and you know people carry the, the Altoids tin with the survival stuff or actually I should say the tobacco tin and then they have Altoids tin ones and they have different sizes. they have jar ones they have other things. Anything you can stick survival stuff into qualifies. So you carry all your different things in different bottles, jars, cans, whatever, all the way up to the big paint can. You can go down and get a paint can for a couple bucks from the store. And uh, it used to be put the survival stuff in that and tape a penny to the lid. Back when I was young, they used to give you a, a paint can opener every time you bought a can of paint. But they don't do that anymore, I don't think. But give you a metal paint can opener, you tape to the top of the lid, and put in the trunk of the car. So you had your survival kit in a can in the back of the car. And I, I think somebody actually sells one of those things, but, you know, those things go on. But The peanut butter jar. All the different things you can do with a peanut butter jar, and it doesn't take up much room. Now, it doesn't have to be a peanut butter jar. It could be any old jar, you know, screw top lid, plastic jar, metal jar, anything like that would work. I mean, you could have, you know, a jar this size. You could have an old mayonnaise jar, a mustard jar. It doesn't have to be clear. You know, you can put all your stuff in there and nobody know what you had. Put it in that. I don't have any other jars laying around up here, I don't think. But Nowadays they take and they put the survival stuff in a water bottle, which is a great idea. And I've seen those in the stores. You know, it's kind of gimmicky some of the stuff they put in there. But, you know, a survival kit in a water bottle. You know, some of the good ones have little clips go on your hip, stuff like that. Just to get those creative juices flowing. You and the kids, if you've got an empty peanut butter jar... Might be something you want to work out with a kit, or uh, you know, maybe you got Sunday school class. You could talk to them about it. Well, well, if something happened here and a tornado come by, what would we do? Well, you can keep this little jar here in the room, or we can keep this, we can keep that. Things to keep at home. Ideas for you like that. Just a thought. Just a thought.